The damage is shocking. People in Parma losing thousands of dollars after flash flooding soaked their homes when more than four inches of rain fell in a matter of hours earlier this month. They say flooding's been a problem for years. And tonight, homeowners met with the city about how to fix it. News 5's Amanda Van Allen was there and joins us now live from Parma City Hall. And Amanda, that meeting got pretty heated at points. Oh, Danita, it sure did, and that is because residents say they are fed up. They do not believe the city is doing enough to stop this flooding from happening. Now, I talked to countless people with countless stories. They say they do not have the tens of thousands of dollars it's going to cost to prepare their homes. Streets look more like rivers earlier this month in Parma. Roads underwater, basements flooded, high water and parking lots trapping cars. Just uh, trying to get things back to normal. Steve DeModis finally got new carpet in his basement Wednesday, weeks after the initial flooding. Kind of disheartening that you had to throw a lot of stuff away. More than 100 folks, just like DeModis, crammed into Parma City Hall Wednesday to join the mayor and other city officials, not only to talk about this major flooding event. We used some sewer district funds to repair catch basins in the city. But also, how to keep this from happening again. We are trying to capture all this data go up there and say we need assistance from the Army Corps to move forward faster on some of these projects. While residents were receptive to future projects like replacing sewer lines, building new basins and dumping old ones and other septic projects, many of them were curious what the city could do right now. Was that road built properly? No. Is anybody yeah. We lost everything. Washer, dryer, two bedroom sets. Tomas Savona's basement got 19 inches of water. He says his insurance didn't give him nearly enough to replace everything. He was left even more frustrated after the meeting. They're talking about the future, you know, in 2020, uh, 2022. And like the other gentleman said, don't talk to me about the future. Talk to me about now. What can we do now? Many residents I spoke to say they don't really think anything was resolved at the meeting, but the mayor, he was much more hopeful. He says he really wants residents to fill out those questionnaires and he's going to continue to push for more funding. We are live tonight in Parma. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.